So it looks like new information on AMD's Radeon RX 6500 series graphics cards which will be based on the Navi 23 RDNA 2 GPU have leaked out. Now the details come from reputable leaker and also insider Kitty Yuko who has a flawless history of posting GPU leaks several months before launch as we've seen with the Ampere leaks from him. Now according to the details, AMD's Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards are based on the Navi 23 RDNA 2 GPU are indeed in the works. Now the Navi 23 GPU will be the third chip within the Navi 2X family and is the smallest of the bunch with a die reported somewhere around the ballpark of 236 millimeters squared. Now Navi 23 GPUs will most probably be utilizing the RX 6500 series graphics card naming since the RX 6600 XT is expected to utilize a 192 bit bus interface which is only possible with the Navi 22 GPU. So the lineup is going to replace the existing Radeon RX 5500 series which are based on the Navi 14 GPU. Now Navi 14 measures in at 158 millimeters squared, which means that we're looking at a die size increase of around 50%. Now the Navi 23 GPU is also internally referred to as Dim Gray Cavefish, which was the codename that we heard last year. Now moving on, it is reported that the AMD Radeon RX 6500 series graphics cards family with that Navi 23 GPU will feature up to 32 compute units, so a total of 2048 stream processors and 32 ray tracing units inside the GPU package. Now the GPU will also be packed with 64 megabytes of infinity cache, which will help boost its bandwidth by quite a huge margin as we've seen in the past. Now for memory, we're looking at up to eight gigabytes of GDDR6 capacity, which will operate across a 128 bit bus interface and offer pin speeds up to 16 gigabits per second and this should total a bandwidth of around 256 gigabytes per second. Now as for products, once again nothing is mentioned except for the fact that the Navi 23 GPU based AMD RX 6500 series, referring specifically to the RX 6500 XT, will be positioned as a premium 1080p gaming solution offering faster performance than the RTX 3060. Now the pricing ends up falling around the $350 US mark but that's quite expensive if we look at where the RX 5500 XT was. Not where it is today, but where it was when it launched. We also aren't sure if the pricing would work considering the RX 6700 XT cost $479 and the RX 6700 would end up close to that $399 mark. The RX 6600 XT also exists would wind up somewhere in the sub $400 price segment and previous leaks from Patrick Schur suggested that the AMD was planning a Navi 23 GPU with TGPs of 65, 80, and 90 watts. But that seems to be of change now as we're getting higher TGP variants of the Navi 23 SKU. Igor mentions that official documents from manufacturers also list down 128-bit Navi 23 GPUs, which would refer to a more standard 4 and 8 gigabyte memory capacities. Now, other details listed for the Navi 23 include support for up to five display outputs, which include DisplayPort 1.4a, which is four display ports and one USB Type-C port, HDMI 2.1, and SLDVI. Now, the Radeon RX 6000M GPUs will feature support for VP9 decode, HEVC decode, H.264 decode, and VC1 decode. Now, the chips will carry support for PCIe Gen 4.0 and up to eight lanes for 16 gigatransfers per second. Now the one of the Navi 23 GPUs with a power limit of 90 watts, the maximum GPU clock is reported around 2350 megahertz. The launch of Navi 23 GPU based graphics cards is expected in April, so expect more information in the coming weeks. Alright guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there, hit the bell notification so that we don't miss you in the future, and if you want to catch out something you may have missed, hit up the links over here on this side, and we'll catch you in the next one.